Oh gosh. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. That looks more... Is that... Oh no, that looks worse, doesn't it? Oh, it's so hard to tell. Oh, well, what the, What the fuck does that matter anyway, huh? The fuck does that matter anyway? Okay. Let's get in. Let's get right into the news. Um. Hello, ladies and friends and gentlemen. And people of all colors and ages and sizes. We are on episode 78. Two away from episode 80. And not long we'll be at 90, and then not long we'll be at 100. 100! Making dollar bills gonna be 100! Uh, I feel a little poopy today. My head is a bit throbby. Kind of a mi mind grain. Migraine? Migraine? I used to call it a mind grain. Because it's in your mind. Your mind has some grains in it. That that was my logic. Migraine. Um, and it also kind of feels like I might be coming down with some sort of sickness. I'm down with the sickness. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. I did that bad. Not as bad as that guy was on Vine. You remember him. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. He sounded like a gorilla. Uh, yes. It's Monday. I don't know if it's Monday when you'll be seeing this. It might be. It should be. Because that's when I uh, upload. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you didn't notice. Some days... Whoops. Some days I, um... It doesn't uh, export in time. So it's a little late sometimes, but... But for the most part, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p to the m, you'll see a Dynamite Gizmo podcast up on the YouTubes. Maybe someday I'll put it on, uh, on, uh, you know, other platforms that you can just listen to it. But as for now, I'm sticking to the YouTube world. You understand? YouTube. I'm just writing something. Don't bother me. Uh, no, that ain't right. No, that ain't right either. So, let's get right into the new. Oh, I'm not, I don't even feel like talking. I don't even feel like doing this. But I do. But I do at the same time. This is this is something I um, don't want to give up on. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This podcast is going to flow like a biscuit in a gravy train. Like like a biscuit on a, on a gravy river. <sighs> Smell that fresh air. My head, it hurts. And... I think I might be getting a cold or something. Hard to focus. I went for a walk this morning. And then my stomach started hurting. So I said, God, I gotta cut this walk short. Because f it felt like I was gonna make diarrhea in my underwear. So I walked home. Uh, actually, before all that, when I, when I first went for the walk, I... Locked the door, I brought Oliver outside, had my phone and everything. Uh, but I locked the door and I shut it and realized I left my keys inside. So I said, fook it. Doesn't matter because I'll just walk to my parents' house and grab the spare key because I knew it was there. Um, oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Um, Graham Hancock, 
has been, uh, as you know, I, I, I purchased his most recent book called The Americas, The Lost Civilization or some shit. And I've been uh, reading it here and there, usually on downtime at work. Um, but I regretted buying it. I should have. I wanted to. I should have purchased the audio version of it. Cause a, uh, you can you can cover a lot of the book through the audio version quickly while you're walking. You just and it's and it's easier to focus on it. I find anyway. I mean, you don't get the benefit of actually physically reading a book, because um, that you know physically reading a book does something. It uh, it's like a brain training exercise. But you know, um, listening to the audiobook, you still retain the information, but you can really retain it even better if you read it. But I don't care. I just want to. I just want to listen to the books. To the B O O K. Anyway, I I so. I uh, I've got, fingerprints of the gods, which is like, one of his, you know, beginner beginner beginning books, that kind of established him. And I was listening to that this morning while I was on my walk, but I had trouble concentrating because, of the state my head is in and my stomach. It's uh. You know, that's why I didn't remember to bring my keys this morning on the walk. Because it's just like a, a cloud. There's a cloudy gloom over my head. Oh, please bring me some bread. Yeah, that's right. If I, if I, if I, okay, let's talk about the weekend before we get into that. So this weekend, there was, uh, in my shitty-ass small town that I live in, there was uh, an event going on that goes on every year called Smash and Splash! Uh, what does that mean? Uh, a bunch of rednecks jump in a, in a pile of mud and you splash each other. No. Basically, though. Um, people come from wherever. They bring... Uh, they bring um, modified trucks and monster trucks, motocross, uh, oh, even custom customized lawnmowers. Rhett and Link talked about that as well. But all that stuff went on this weekend, and I had family that came down. So and it, that's kind of a tradition. The family comes to Provost. God, I keep saying my town that I'm in. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't fucking matter. Anyway, people come to this town. And, uh... What was I saying? I'm fucking sick in the brain, man. Can't even focus. My family came. Uh, it was raining, as usual. But it, it wasn't like a constant rain. It rained, and then it stopped, and then it rained again, and it stopped. And so, but we still had a good time. I put a lot of uh, alcoholic beverages into my body, which still feels like I'm a little hungover from it. It's been two days since, and uh, I'm feeling a little whoopty whoop. Mm. You know what? If I'm not working this upcoming weekend, I think I might go back to Elk Island. We'll do round two. Although I looked at the weather and it's supposed to be raining literally every day this week except for today. Which means it might rain on the weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But I want rain. I want as much rain as possible. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I I absolutely love the rain. I love thunder. I love it all. Even the thought of just like a, a you know, a hurricane or a, or or even a tornado. 
Like if that sh when that stuff comes around, it gets exciting. I love it. Unless it, uh, you know, I wouldn't love it if it destroyed my house or you know my belongings. But just like those those moments where everyone's kind of like on edge, chaos might ensue. It excites me. But you know what doesn't excite me? My job. My job doesn't excite me. I hate it. When I get a when I get that text that says, "Hey, you got to go to work tomorrow." Instant anxiety. Like to the full degree. Obviously, I've controlled it a little bit since uh since the beginning of this dumb and and do and endeavor of mine hey you know what i like the future you know you gotta you gotta you gotta get you gotta <laughs> you know i'm doing i'm doing the i'm putting in the time of of this other stuff so you gotta think the future is gonna hold out something good for me once all this uh all this hard work that I'm doing on the side pays off. I don't like, I don't, I, I hate saying hard work. Because I don't consider myself like, you know, I don't like saying, I'm not, a, I'm, you know, I can work hard, but it's not, I'm not a hard worker. Like, it's not like what, when, when I think of hard work, I feel like that term should be reserved for, for like people who are working in a coal mine or firefighters or you know really really labor intensive um dangerous work like going to war that's hard that's fucking hard work okay making a podcast writing making music I mean, yeah, it's a it's a process and it takes time, but it's it's not hard work. And every artist will say, "I've worked hard to get to this point." And yeah, you have in a in a in a certain sense, but nobody's denying. I mean, I'm not denying that these celebrities didn't do a lot to get to where they are. But I just think the term hard work should not be devoted to artists the 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 stuff you know you can come up with something else come up with another term you understand oh man i think i'm gonna puke i'm gonna puke i'm gonna puke and diarrhea at the same time Oh, man, it really feels like I'm going to shit my pants right now. I really might, I might shit my pants. Ah, my stum tum. Oh, my tummy. Wow, that just comes in waves. It's like pain, 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 and then it goes away. I've taken two diarrhea poops already. Actually, it would be three, because there was one, there was one poo in the middle of the night. I woke up with pain in the tum-tum, ran to the toy toy, and I pooped. It just fell out of me, like, instantly. As soon as I pulled my trousers down and sat on the, on the can, it was like, <laughs> it just kept leaking. Uh, and the wiping was easy. Just a few wipes. It was liquidy. Just like wiping brown water off my hole. So that's what happened last night. And then this morning I had two fresh... <laughs> two more fresh diarrhea dumps. And they stunk. I'm going to puke just thinking about it. Let's talk about something else. It's not exciting, I know. But uh, um, at least I'm doing it, right? I said I would commit. I'm committing. 
I'm fucking committing. C O M M I T I N G. Committing. I wanna know what love is. I want Oliver to show me. Actually, no, I don't. Because uh, that song's talking about sexual sexness, and I don't want to do that with Oliver. Because he's an animal. He's a, just a dog. He's a little poopy. And yes, he's right here, as always. Come here, Olive. Come on. You see him? Oh. You almost paused the podcast, Olive, with your tail. You see the, the Olive? He's just a little poop. He's a poopy. My hair. Look at this. It looks like I have a really bad receding hairline here, but it's. I slept on my hair weird, so it's all kind of pushed and bent over. See, this side's not as bad. It's pushed and like stuck. In a in a bad spot. I wish I didn't cut my hair this short, but my hair was long, and I was gonna get my usual fade haircut. But then, uh, you know, I just kept waiting and waiting, and I, I said, you know what? Screw this. Whipped out the the the. the uh. Oh God. I'm going to puke, I swear to God, I'm going to puke all over this mic. Oof. You don't know how I feel right now. You don't know. Alexa, can you add Lipton Soup to the list? Yeah, she can't hear me because the air conditioning is on full blast. Where was I? The hair. Whipped out the, 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 the clippers and fucking buzzed her off. And I always forget whenever I buzz that the back, cutting the, the, like trimming the back end, getting it straight, and then the neck hairs cutting those off, that's hard to do. Because you gotta hold a uh, mirror behind your head while looking into another mirror. So you're using that mirror to look into that mirror. So everything is backwards on top of being backwards because there's two mirrors. It's so fucked. Like, t- you think you got your hand angled the right way, and no matter how many ways you try to angle that thing, it's it's impossible. It's so disorientating. But eventually, after after a bunch of cursing and swearing and and almost giving up, I eventually I eventually got into a good rhythm and was able to get those hairs off. It's not perfect. It's much easier with another person. If Olive had hands, I'd get him to do it. I wonder if you could train a pet monkey to cut your hair. Now that would be cool. You just sit down and say, Hey, monkey, cut my hair, monkey. Yesterday, um was also not a great day for me because I felt like poo as well. Physically, sickly. But while I was feeling like turds, I... I Jordan Peterson uploaded a, a podcast episode. He... Uh, he, um... He in- Oops. He interviewed Joe Rogan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Joe. <coughs> 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 Joe was a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna puke. I swear. Joe was at his his podcast studio, and Jordan Peterson was at I don't know wherever he was in Toronto, probably his home, and they were doing it over a webcam. And the the title of the video is "Who is Joe Rogan." And uh, basically, Jordan Peterson 
approaches a conversation with Joe Rogan from the perspective of a clinical psychologist. Sort of. He basically um, runs through Joe's whole life from beginning to now. And you really, you look, I learned a lot about Joe Rogan, more than, more than I already knew. And like, people know a lot about Joe Rogan because of the fact that he has so many podcast episodes out. You know, from time to time, he'll end up talking about himself pretty well every episode. There'll be some detail about his life he'll give away. But this, this podcast with Jordan Peterson was, uh, it was very well done. If, you, if you're interested, you'll learn a lot about Joe Rogan. And he tells a story um, of when he was in Fear Factor. And there was a, there was a moment of, of triumph between a mother and a daughter. And it was a very touching story. Joe started crying. It made, made everyone tear up. It was a beautiful moment. How long have we been going here? 21 minutes? Oh, boy. You want to see me puke? As soon as this podcast is over, I'm going straight to the toilet. And I'm ralphing. Let's see. I got one more talk. Oh, I should show you the card. Bah, that's the tradition, right? Still on blue. There's one more topic I haven't touched yet. And I'm going through these quick. Because this is going to be a bit of a short pood cast. Uh, for obvious reasons. I don't need to tell you why. I don't need to tell you why. I don't need to tell you why. So let's... Let's... I'm just going to get this up and running so we can do some Reddit and something else that I, I want to show you. It's taking forever. Okay, looks like it's ready. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. Um, here we are. This is YouTube. You're familiar, aren't you? Um, so, Reese's Pieces. Are you familiar? Of course you are. They, there was an advertisement on the homepage of YouTube, okay, for this, it's called Reese the Movie. A movie about Reese, Reese, or Reese's, whatever, I don't know how you pronounce that. An ASMR experience. Now this thing is an hour and 22 minutes and 27 seconds long. Uh, comments are disabled. And it's right on Reese's, Reese Canada's page. Oh, their, their channel, I mean. Um, here's a description. Five of YouTube's top... A A ASMRists discover the ultimate way to eat Reese peanut butter cups in this weird and wonderful feature film. A sensory experience presented in ASMR audio to give you the chills. So, what do you think this is? It's an hour and 22 minutes long. Let me put my headphones on. Reese, the movie. See, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you clips. About Reese. I don't plan on watching it all. A. S. L. R. Experience. So look, two minutes in. Or three, and so on. After a while, everyone gets confused about which number Earth they live on. It'll 19 minutes in. Oh, and I can do portraits too. I'll do yours.
32 minutes in. But not like identical twins. 45 minutes in. Oh, someone do that once. It worked. One hour and four minutes in. One hour and 15 minutes in. One hour, 20 minutes. <laughs> That's not how that goes. Look at There's this. There's five of us. I won't disagree with that. And basically an hour and a half of people whispering and just fucking around with Reese's peanut butter cups. Look at this guy. What is this? It seems like an April Fool's joke to me, but it's not April Fool's. Comments are disabled. There's only 5,430 views, although it's only been uploaded today, but still. There's more likes than dislikes, which... I'm wondering what what Reese's is trying to 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 what's their goal here? Like, is this are they serious about this film? This doesn't seem serious to me. It seems like some sort of little little joke, a play on a play on uh, I don't know some marketing experience experiment. Just trying to make something go viral through. Uh, you know, calling it a feature film, an hour and a half of of ASMR Reese theme. Anyway, I just thought it was interesting. I do not recommend it. And I, I wonder if anybody's actually going to watch the whole thing. Don't have much to say about it because I'm going to puke my guts out. Just wanted to mention it. Bop. Okay. Make smens. Let's move on to Reddit. I won't do much because I'm fucking sick. Found in some old stuff can be open to reveal this piece of paper. Don't care. VR porn's getting kinky. Ooh, I want to see it. Can't show it on YouTube though, I bet. Whoops. Play. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I can show this. Is this real? Damn, that's actually... That's like really... Realistic. Like... They look like video game characters. <laughs> oh, she he threw her. But he's grabbing her titty. And it's jiggling. And it just looked real. Anyway. Can't even show it, so why am I talking about it? I'll show it. It's not that bad. Can we just give a huge shout out to the cameraman that was willing to follow Michael and Andy to Mexico for three months? That's right. Look at this. Cow and a dog. Man, you know what? How to break a door. Kick near the lock. Kick near the lock, not the lock itself. Drive heel into door. Lean into kick. Drive heel of standing foot into the ground. Does that mean it's going to work? Mm, not necessarily. You know what I hate? Shirts that are stretched in the neck. Okay. A lot of my shirts are, because for the longest time I've I hated stuff being around my neck and I'd stretch it. And there's nothing worse than seeing a fat guy who stretches his, the neck of his shirt out. Am I right? Looks disgusting. I'm sorry. Don't use your shoulder, and don't use a jump kick. Well, jump kicks have worked in the past. My grandparents' selfie in the 60s at a military base in Puerto Rico. Very nice, very nice. Jack Black sneaking up on a fella. We all seen it. 
The dick vein on a Snickers really makes it. That's true. There is a dick vein on the Snickers. New AI tool from Adobe can detect Photoshop faces. Ha! 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 Oh! 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 Wheelie bar failure. Damn! He broke the front axle. These dogs are hurting uh, geese. I've seen this one this morning, and this is what we're going to end on. Because I need to go puke in the toilet and then shit on top of it. And then probably puke on top of that. So here it is. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in too much. You can see it. It's fine. So I'm sure you've seen uh, you've seen dogs do shit like this before. Look, they go through the hula hoop, and then this girl over here is making some sort of backwards bridge, and they're gonna get those ducks to go under her. This is training. They're very good at what they do. Quick and smart. There they go. Under the girl. Yeah! Success! Success. And that's the end of her, folks. ba da ba ba da ba um, so, I would like to say I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast, but it was weak and probably unsatisfying, so. I hope you enjoyed me wasting your time this episode, and, uh, hopefully in the next one I won't be pukey. Bye, everyone. It was after her or something. Like, she was frightened. So I don't know if it was because of the kitty. Everyone, goodbye. Suck it. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Ooh, baby, won't you suck my dick? Olive, I'm gonna puke all over you. Oh, Olive, that stinks. Ugh. Why are you gonna fart like that? Pause the video!